Let go. That's a good shark. Welcome back to part two of surf fishing with the longest cast uh, surf fishing charter. We're going after sharks today. This is part two of a three part series. If you haven't checked out number one, there's gonna be a picture of the thumbnail on the screen right now. Uh, you can click on that at the end of the playlist and hang tight because we're gonna get into some good action. Stop what you're doing right now, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like the content, you can unsubscribe later. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. And also right now, hit the like button. That's gonna help the algorithm push this video. So without any more delay, let's start right now. <laughs> that feels white. I totally didn't get my rig. <laughs> we just had, we've been out here like five minutes and just had a monster on it. Something popped. Oh boy. Yeah, it just popped out. The hook got us. Oh. Oh. Mean. We've been here just a couple minutes. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, these are the super fast acting, and they're. I'm not gonna buy these again. They're too. They melt way too fast. I've never even heard of the super fast acting. Yeah, they have the super fast, the fast, and then the. This is the stuff that doesn't have any mesh at all. Oh, that's no good then. No, it's still good. It just. It's kind of nice because it doesn't leave that mesh on your hook. Yeah. So we're just all we're doing is topping it off with uh, the fish bites. That makes it like the fish has to grab it and hold on to it harder. It's a uh, it's kind of a, one of the tricks, I guess, of surf fishing. I've heard. Yeah. It just keeps them from stealing your mullet or live bait on there. Your cut bait. Probably casting this one out farther. Send it. So we're just waiting right now. Uh, we missed a big shark. Had a couple bites on the small pole. So far, no luck. We need to get. Just some kind of fresh bloody bait to get to sit in the water to help out with the bite. Right now it's all frozen stuff. That's all fine, frozen, but anything fresh, it's just like anything else. Even if you use cut bait, if it's that from that day or if it's from recent and you haven't totally froze it, it's gonna be better. All right, there we go. That's a good bite. See if I can get him to bite again here. We need this bait. I don't feel anything on it. I mean, it, it wasn't. Yeah, it's a nice old bump, but it's not. No, that wasn't like the other one we had earlier. So we're looking for fresh bait. We've had a, two bumps on the whiting pole. I've completely missed them. I have, I have not done a good job on the last two trips catching whiting. I don't know why. Uh, especially the last one. The last one was absolutely hammering the uh, the rod. So Jeremy's going to take the lead here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right as I say it. <laughs> ah, dude, that's a big one. Hold on, let me get him on. Yeah, you got him. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good shark. All right. Yeah, he's hooked up. All yours. Let him run when he runs. <laughs> right as I, I know. Maybe I should just say that more often. Well, let's not say anything until we land it. <laughs> How's he feel? Stud, huh? He's it, it's, it's big. There's some head shakes. On a croaker head. <laughs> He's right here. Yeah, he might make another run. Yeah, I'd be getting to that last right. Yeah, I'd be shocked if he doesn't. There it is. There's a little head shake. Yeah, he will. There's no way he's tired. No, he's just been coming with me. Oh, he's right here. I don't know. I can't tell. All right. I'm giving you slack. Oh yeah. yeah Something. Big. Something's bigger out there, huh? So what is that? Oh, yeah. Is that a black tip? No, it's a uh, fine tooth. The teeth, how they're small. Oh yeah. Yeah. So there we go, fine tooth shark. Obviously he's not the biggest thing out here. What a cool looking shark. So there we go, we're releasing him. So that should have been shark number two, but the other one ran at us, got too much slack and popped off on us. Good. We are on the board. That's the first one, the fine tooth shark. Probably four feet is what we were guessing. Uh, man, I felt, I felt a lot bigger when I first got it hooked, but uh, it put up a great fight. It's a lot of fun, and then it got here. Like, when it gets to the bank, it's always hard to kind of get them in. You gotta help the wave, and Jeremy goes up and grabs the leader, and then he's de-hooking them. The tide's like really early this week, so we're right at the end of kind of where you want to be fishing-wise. So I think we have a chance to hook into at least one more. If we get some fresh bait, I'm gonna say we'll at least get two more. Um, so hopefully you guys are gonna see some more sharks and whiting. So we had the big shark right away, missed it, and then hooked the, the four footer fine too. So I missed a couple whiting, which really hurt us. I think if we would've caught the whiting and got some fresh bait out, it really would've made a difference. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you get a chance to go over to my Instagram, it's first down fishing, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later this week. Thank you.